it's Kat from Adventures in Succulents. Welcome to those who are new to my channel and welcome back to those who've been here before. Um, it's another great day out here in Southern California to do a little bit of gardening. Today's adventure is going to be about Prasala Ovada. When I first got started with succulents, I knew everything as jade. Jade this, jade that, everything that was a succulent to me was identified as jade. But as I began to learn more about succulents, I discovered they actually had specific names. So jades have uh, a special place in my heart because they were the first succulents I was introduced to. So if you want to learn a little bit about the Crassula ovata, some fun facts about them, and maybe see some of the Crassula ovatas that I have in our garden, then keep on watching. So be sure to hit that subscribe button before the video ends. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and take a stroll and take a look at some of the crassulas in the garden. Um, this one here is a very large crassula that's actually in a pot. Let's see, not this one, but it's actually this one here. These two blue pots and the two blue pots is a crassula ovata. I'm actually babysitting this crassula ovata. It belongs to um, one of my friends who um, is in the transition of moving. So, yeah, so we're taking good care of it. It's very green and healthy. Um, it's winter time, so you can see kind of some red around the leaves. But anyway, to some fun facts about um, Crassula ovata. They're very low actually. They can thrive in low light. And they can also thrive in direct sunlight as well. As long as it's acclimated to its environment, it'll do very well in both both um, environments. So there are people who like to keep these indoors and that's perfectly fine, which is a great benefit because it helps clean the toxins in the air inside the home. And we've actually done some studies where um, it does clean the air in, indoors and provides uh, humidification, as well as more oxygen, clears out the carbon dioxide inside. The only thing is when it is indoors, um, it gets very low light. It'll still survive, but you may notice that the, the leaves or the, the stems are growing longer because it is it may be reaching out for, for sun, but it, it'll do well inside as well. Another fun fact is Crassula ovata is considered a good luck plant or money plant. And in many countries, in China, in Germany, even um, Filipinos, they may put this in strategic places around their home or the business um, to inspire good luck to enter um, to enter the place. This is a this is a variegated kind or tricolor crassulovata. Another thing is it, there's actually health benefits too with the crassula. Um, jade. In Africa, what they do is that they boil the leaves with milk and apparently they use it for remedies for diarrhea, for epilepsy, for uh, tea, tea in China. Uh, they make tea with it to combat diabetes. And overall, the presence of the plant, uh, according to Feng Shui, or Shui uh, is that it brings energy to the home. Also, if you cut the leaves of the Crassula ovata, um, the juice from the leaves can be put on warts, skin warts, and be uh, antibacterial or antiviral and um, heal the warts that way. Propagation with these jade plants are um, similar to other succulents. You can propagate them through water, through leaves, as well as with cuttings as well. So the care is very normal. Um, just watering, uh, maybe when the when the plant is established, you can just water it every two to three weeks. It doesn't need a lot of water, and it actually prefers that the soil dry out in between waterings. So it makes it very drought tolerant and easy to maintain. Now they do um, they do thrive in direct sun. However, it has to be acclimated to that environment. You can't just put an indoor plant um, out in the sun and expect it to not be sun damaged. It has to be introduced to the sun gradually and vice versa. If you have a plant that's been out in the sun um, and has been used to that and all of a sudden you bring it in inside, you're going to notice that the colors probably are not going to be as red or have pink tints 
like this uh, hobbit here, but um, it'll turn green. You just have to introduce the plants to different, the different environments gradually, and they'll be more happy for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, show you the rest of what we have and just a little closer view of each of them. This is Crassula ovata uh, tricolor because it has greens and yellows and reds, um, especially when it's out in the sun. This one I'm very excited about because of the offsets that are developing within the stems and it's starting to grow little babies. This um, is a very gata, Crassula very gata. However, it's a little bit different than the other variegata, lime and lemon, and you'll see that later in the video because the stripes here are very more defined versus the other one where they're kind of blending together. This is Crassula ovata minima. The leaves are a little bit smaller and they're stacked, so that's the main difference with the, the minima versus the regular Crassula ovata. I love the color on this one also as well. Next is our regular Crassula ovata, but it's called Harbor Lights, but it's just a regular jade. Um, Harbor Lights because the edges of the um, leaves are red and defined, especially during the winter months. You can see that the trunk of this jade happens to be very thick, so that's an indication of the age of this bush. Next is our Crassula um, Hobbit where the leaves are a little bit bigger versus this Crassula Gollum where the leaf, the tubular leaves are smaller, more narrow. So that's the main difference. And here's that lemon lime um, Crassula variegata that I was mentioning earlier. This is Jacobi Sinii, Sinicio Jacobi Sinii or Trailing Jade. Leaves are a bit purple. It's not really a Crassula, but when it blooms, it also blooms orange flowers. And finally, we have our Crassula Arborescum or Silver Dollar Jade. The leaves on this are very um, large. They can be up to two inches in diameter, teardrop shaped, a little bit larger, thicker trunk. But I also love the succulent color on this one. And that's about it for our collection. Have you learned something about um, jade plants through this video? Uh, and that's about it. Be sure to comment like and subscribe and thanks so much for watching i hope you have a little bit of time to spend out in your garden you all have a great day